Hi guys, today I want to show you quick tips about how to get all Outlook calendar events, including recurring events in, our, in Power Automate. So my, my requirement is I want to get all the events from my calendar. So I used get events, uh, this action of Office 365 Outlook connector uh, at, uh, at the beginning. So this connector, this action only returned the single events. There's no um, recurring events return. So uh, let me show you. This is running history uh, using this uh, action. So you can see it returned nine events. Actually, uh, I have 13 events, including four recurring events. So it just returned single events only. So I have to change this action. I, I use another one. I uh, use the, uh, the get calendar view of events. So using this action, I can get all events of the calendar. So you can see uh, the, the number turned to be 13. It's all what I have in my calendar. So, but, uh, but for if we use this action, so we need an extra step. We just we need to pass the the JSON, pass the, uh, uh, the 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 content of this uh, of this list. Um, so, but it's it's pretty easy. So we just copy the the uh, output and then just paste it into this uh, step uh, sample you uh, sample data. Then we can easily get. The final uh, the result of the, of this um, kind of events. Uh, due to privacy reasons, so I will not show you the uh, the the, the uh, calendar events details, but just let let, let you know. So the the two action will return different results. So if you want to get all events, so you have to use get calendar view of events. But if, if you want, just get the single events. So yeah, just use this one. But this uh, action is strongly suggested. Uh, so this is the uh, uh, the uh, editor of this flow. So you can see, uh, firstly, you have to choose your calendar. So we, ha we have several one, right? Just uh, select the correct one. Then you, you using uh, this action, you have to set up a range. Uh, so now I just use uh, UTC now and other days expressions to define the uh, uh, the dynamic date range, right? The next step is just pass JSON, just uh, pass the value uh, of this step, and you will get an array, right? Then just work on the array uh, to to do uh, to work on this uh, events. Yeah, that's it. So. I have an article uh, to introduce the difference between um, get events and uh, get calendar view of events. The URL is under this video, so you can check it out. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. I'll see you next time.